we're doing a short demo today of a piece of software I've been using recently uh, to generate backing tracks uh, to play over. Um, so I use them for my YouTube channel for practicing. Um, it enables me to remove the elements of the track um, that I want to replicate, uh, in this case the guitars, um, and play over the rhythm section. So, you know, get a real sense of attempting to, to, to replicate, um, you know, the original parts as, as close as possible, as accurately as possible. Um, so it's really simple to use. Um, you can see here I've already loaded a few uh, s songs in where I've, I've basically just retained the drums and bass. Um, so I'll give you a short example. Here's a, a quite everything now by the Spins. Joyce uh, and, and his parts there. Uh, this charming man. Let's uh, try Pretty Girls Main Graves. See, there are, um, you know, essentially they are the, you know, the original tracks, but but with uh, the drums and bass retained and, and everything else removed. So it's really useful to, uh, to to be able to use that, to be able to practice, um, and then of course, uh, you know, if I'm doing a cover or a YouTube um, video, uh, they're also very good because I, you know, you can you can hear. Uh, exactly what I'm playing and uh, it, you know it's not kind of mixed in with the overall track um, so it gives a bit more clarity to everything um, and it's really simple to, to generate the backing track so you just click on this plus button um, you go to, to the track that you want um, so I'll pick track number seven which I think is uh, still ill um, I could select the bass and the drums and click generate and away it goes um, now it does take, depending on uh, you know how powerful your uh, your laptop is or your your PC, um, it it may take a while. Um, you know this is not a super powerful uh, laptop that I'm using. I think it's an old Intel uh, uh, i3. Um, so, but it 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 will generate the track within um, you know five minutes or so. So it's not it doesn't take uh, a long time. Um, the other thing I'm supposed to say is that uh, at the moment the software is only available. So I, you, as you can see, I'm uh, well, well, it, maybe it's not clear, but I'm using Ubuntu. So, uh, but uh, my understanding is that Sanctuary, who the uh, the company behind Backtrack, uh, will be releasing a, a Windows version, which I think you know will obviously be uh, more popular generally. Uh, but there are there are obviously multiple ways that you could potentially use this software. So. Uh, you know, if you're a YouTuber like me, you know, generating backing tracks from literally any uh, track that you have the master of, um, you know, in my case, these are CDs that I own, uh, that I paid for, um, that I'm that I'm ripping and then uh, adding into um, into backtrack. Uh, but it, it could be literally anything, and it will, you know, it will separate, uh, in, you know, the drums and bass. So, if you're doing YouTube channels and you're in covers, really good for that. Um, if you're a music teacher, um, you know, and you want to, um, you know, support your students um, to enable them to play along, uh, you know, without uh, the, 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 you know, the additional um, instruments in a song, then again, you know, really useful for that too. So lots of potential, I think, for using this um, in terms of, you know, learning and improving uh, your, your musical ability. So, um now the thing that the, that it will try and do is it will try and work out uh, through information that's in the audio file um, what the track is. In, in this case, um, it seems that the uh, the track that I've the, the disc that I burned it doesn't contain that information, so it's not able to infer that. But I could quickly go in and I could just say, right, okay, uh, you know, this is the Smiths. 
Now the album is The Smiths. And the song, I think, <laughs> is still ill. Uh, we can check that, of course. So let's save that. And I'll double click. It is still ill, yes. One of the things that you do realise when, you, when you, uh, you know, you're removing everything but the drums and bass is uh, Smiths were a really solid rhythm, rhythm section and uh, you know, particularly Andy's bass lines really had a huge amount um, to the track. Okay, I hope you found that useful. I'll put a link in the description where you can download Backtrack um, it is only available at the moment, I think, for Ubuntu Linux, but uh, as I understand, it will soon be available for Windows too. So.